Hello, today I will show how to reduce weight of this drone. This drone weighs 268 grams and in some countries you cannot use it without a license and you have to register it. In some countries there is a legal restriction. The drone has to weigh less than 250 grams if you want to fly it outside without a license and uh, registration. But it's a pity that this drone exceeds this limit only 19 grams and I thought what I can do about that. I was able to reduce the weight of this drone below 250 grams. Let's see how much it weighs now. Let's turn on the scale. Let's put the drone on the scale. And I have 248 grams on it. So how did I do that? I've seen some manufacturers trying to replace the batteries with low capacity to reduce the weight and uh, it also works so let's see what I've done there are two ways to reduce the weight of a drone so this was one of the easiest solutions I removed some screws I removed some plastic parts and uh, as in the past I tried to repair many times each and E58 I know that certain screws don't affect the integrity of the structure of the drone. So I removed certain screws from the arms to here, to here, to here, and to here. I kept the screws inside because they are located in crucial parts where a lot of vibration is happening. In general, this cover is kept in place very well. It won't fall off here because it's located in between the body parts. This one here won't fall off because we have two screws in place. Then I removed certain screws that keep in place the cover of the drone. And I kept only two of them on this side and on this side. Then I removed two screws from this part, which keeps in place some components but two screws are enough to keep it in place. But what affects most the weight of the drone is the battery part. Let's see what happened to the battery. Looks like there's nothing different, but if I remove it, you will see that I have no casing of the battery. Let's see how much weight I was able to remove by removing the casing of the battery, which was like, which was here. And if we look at the weight of the casing, it's 6 grams already. What have I done to this battery to remove the casing? This is how the original battery looks like. You will need to remove these two screws here, the cover will come out, then you'll see two screws more, and this casing will come out. And then you will have to put this cap back on the circuit. There is a circuit inside, you have to cover it. And then I removed some rubber from the supports of the drone, for example this rubber was removed from here so we remove rubber from here and from here next we have some small supports with the rubber parts and this part comes from the rear part of the drone from here so we remove them too they would affect a little bit the inclination of the drone but as we remove this rubber part from here the drone becomes balanced again on the surface now let me show you that removing the screws from the body of the drone do not affect the casing and the integrity of the body of the drone. I removed now the rest of the screws and from my previous experience I know that these screws keep the cover of the drone, this cover of the drone in place, like in Ishin E58. So when we remove those screws we just remove the cover. And uh, none of the arms are affected by those screws, they are in place. 
There are metal pins that keep the arms inside of the drone body. And if you look at the button, they can be seen from here. There were screws here and I decided to remove them and checked if this would allow the metal pins to come off easily. But it looks like these pins are pressed inside and it's not possible to easily remove them. So I tried to push them out and they don't come out easily. They don't even move. So I removed 8 screws from these parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That allowed me also to remove some weight from the drone. It's even possible to look at some parts here and see if you can remove some screws from inside too. Let's go further and do that actually. Because I remember in the Ishan E58 I would remove some screws that would keep the circuits inside and nothing would happen. So for example I see that there are four screws keeping the circuit inside. I would remove this one and this one so that these two would keep the circuit inside. That would be enough. So I removed these two screws that kept the circuit inside and these type of screws usually have large heads and that's good because there's a lot of weight in it. It will help to reduce the weight even more and nothing is happening to the circuit. It's not even moving. From the front part of the drone I was able to remove this plastic piece. It was just covering the headlights of the drone and some connections of the camera with the drone body. When I removed it I didn't see any change in how the camera casing was fixed inside of the drone. There was no play. In general the camera is fixed with rubber, no screws there. It allows the camera to be more flexible and avoid vibrations coming from the drone. The rubber connections are pretty tight inside. So this is how we can overcome this challenge by trying to remove some parts that are not crucial for the drone and see if we can reach the desired weight. I was able to do that. But what's the second way of doing it? I mean, I don't like this kind of a battery setup, right? The downside of this setup is that when you put this connector in here, it's not fixed well. Uh, this cap helps to keep it in place, but I would want it to be in a casing well protected. So the second thing is what manufacturers do in order to able to sell their models in different countries. They just put another battery that will have less capacity because the battery that has less capacity would have less weight. And I have a solution. This battery comes from E520S model. Let me show you how it looks in its original state. This is how the original battery looks like. And this is how the original battery looks like for the EX5 Pro model. If we look at the characteristics, they are similar. It says 7.4 volts, this one 7.4 volts. Then this one is 1200 milliamperes per hour. This one is double capacity, 2200 milliamperes. And the discharge rate is the same 25C and this one is 25C. So we can use this battery for Ishin EX5 Pro. What we will have to do is remove the batteries like I did already. They are easy to remove. This one comes out from this casing. You just remove some screws from here. Open the casing like this and remove the battery and you have this part here. This one can also be easily disassembled, just two screws here. When you remove this cap, there will be two more screws which will allow you to remove this part. So as you can see, the batteries have the same characteristics but the capacity is different. We also see that the cables are the same, so probably they should fit the circuit the circuits are different. I looked at them and I checked that they look very different so I would not try to adapt this connector to the pins. 
because the way the battery data goes to the drone may be different I will just pick up the battery itself and uh, connect this battery to this cables here I will show how to do it in the next videos and we'll test if it works and just to show you that this thing works let me put this battery inside and turn on the drone so it's in place the clip is keeping it in place now the cap and let's turn it on let's turn on the remote control and turn it on and as you can see it works